In Wisconsin, on the west side of Stevens Point, the Stanley Project consists of one warehouse, two guys, and lots and lots of bikes. According to Silent Sports Magazine, the Stanley Project operates out of a warehouse which has been provided by CAP Services. This warehouse is 8,000 square feet and houses many, many bike parts. Let's take a look inside to see what's going on. When Larry Frostman was a child, growing up in Bayfield County, he didn't have a bike, but his grandfather, Stanley Stefinski, made sure that he did. Sometimes working up to 40 hours a week, Larry and Jim can always be found here at the warehouse working on bikes. To date we've done uh, 1,047 that we've given away. Uh, no paperwork involved, no financial questions. If you can't afford a bike, we'll give you a bike. How did the Stanley Project start? Um, I guess it's kind of a fluke, really. I get interested in bicycling. And a friend offered me a bike for free. She's got a new bike, she gave me an old bike. Think, oh, this isn't bad. You know, people get bikes for you, which kind of surprised me. I don't got to think about when I was a kid, I didn't have a bike, and my grandfather made sure I had one. And, well, I had some time off from work, we off time, and God, I wouldn't mind doing this, fix a few more bikes to give the kids, and I was telling a cousin of mine who was a police, on the police department here about that. He says, well, if you want bikes, we have bikes, and I didn't know what he meant, and he says, the police department has all these recovered bikes that they pick up all over town. He said, if you're going to fix them and give them to a, like a non-profit or whatever, he said, we'll give them to you. A couple of phone calls later, I had 78 bicycles in my garage. And that was, uh, that was seven or eight years ago. Out of 78, I got 28 bikes, which I donated to big brothers, big sisters. We were real happy with it. I mean, it worked out. You still donate to Big Brothers and Big Sisters? Yeah, they still send people around occasionally. That first time around, all of them went to Big Brothers and Big Sisters. And back to work, the layoff was over after a while. I had to go back to work, so I didn't do that for a while. Continue biking on my own, but not doing a project of any kind. But I'm doing what I want to do, and I enjoy what I'm doing. It's kind of like having a hobby five days a week and working two days a week, kind of opposite of what most people do. We've gotten some financial donations from some local businesses here and it's kept us afloat. And if we do get an influx of money, we spend it on tools and parts so we can keep operating. Some of the nicer bikes out of here we've sold in order to keep going buy parts. We're Several times a week I'm at a bike shop buying uh, cables and housing and brake pads, bar wrap, inner tubes. I mean, I just took this one to see what this one's like. You know, it's not reusable. Those that are reusable, we do reuse them, but there's some things that literally just wear out. Chains are a real expensive part of an operation. I uh, buy those, buy the case of 25 and in two weeks they'll be gone. It's taken money to keep this going, but we seem like we've always had enough. I mean, Right now we're getting to the point where we've got enough volunteers and enough demand for bikes we need to set up a bigger work area which we're putting over here on the other side of this one. There will be maybe two or three more of these work stands like this. So we probably get five or six people working at one time, volunteers. Just happy to get more bikes into the community. The Stanley Project has sprouted some enthusiasm for biking. I think the college students came in by word of mouth. I'm not sure how they even found out about it to start with, but uh, probably through the bike shops. And we get most, most of our volunteers are students. Some are, and we just got some local younger guys. A couple female volunteers, and some of these kids have got to be really good with bikes. They've been knowing some of them nothing, absolutely nothing. Just wanting a bike, we help them fix that up, and then in turn, when they fix up bike for themselves, they turn around and they help us fix bikes. And they've gotten, uh, I guess they've gotten really in tune with the biking scene, some of the biking racing, stuff, mountain bike racing. Uh, it's been a good thing for everyone that's been involved.
bike is put back together. It may not look brand new, it'll show us wear and tear, but mechanically, it'll be as good as the day it was built. It's kind of what I strive for, because it always just looks. I mean, the guy could take the time and sand his frame and paint it and do all kinds of nice things to it, but it really doesn't make it ride any better. It's mechanical, is the most important part. Got a gauge here to tell if it's worn or not. It's good, we'll save it. Nope, jump, so we'll cut that out once. Try and do something a simple way. It's the easiest way to get. Parts took off that bike up. Put him in a parts washer and he'll probably soak till Monday and he'll pretty much rinse off under a water faucet and get some little bubble air hose and rain bubble and it'll work. Usually. So you find a problem, but it's a good way to get it good and clean and see that everything's right on. You can just see that my hands are in there. It's a pretty wild detergent. To start this project, I was laid off at the time, so I had a lot of time to devote it to it. Seven days a week if I wanted to, I was looked at unemployment. Well, it's time to work again. It doesn't give me that much time, but I still get five or six days a week in here. It's like a job, but it's a job we don't get paid for. But the satisfaction is there. I think as of today, we've given away 1,057 bicycles in here. And to me, that's worth a lot. I get up in the morning, I look forward to coming here. I know there's people out here talking and hearing on TV and radio and all day. People get up in the morning and hate getting up because they hate their job. They don't want to do it. They have to do that. They, uh, I'm grateful I don't feel that way. Even on the weekends, my weekend job driving truck, it's not my favorite thing in the world, but I don't hate it, so I guess in general, life is pretty good. But I wish more people could say that about what they do every day. First hand knowledge, and I see it here, people come in and we give them bikes or lights or shambles and they're not doing real well. Any little bit that we can do to help them by giving them a bike this way to Go we'll look for a job, get a job, have a way to get to work, you know, get them back on their feet. We can help them with that. That's pretty much what we're doing. And some of the bikes are just strictly for fun. I mean, kids need bikes. Kid, every kid should have a bike, whether they have to ride it to school or whatever, just just to have that bike. I think it's, it's really important that friends have bikes. If they don't have one, they feel like they're not part of it. A lot of kids bike sway and I try to keep them going all the time. We've always, almost always have some once when the demand gets high and we get low on them. We've given away from tricycles to a two-year-old to bicycles for an 80-year-old. Everybody has a use for a bike. I think one of the other real powerful aspects about this whole thing is that these bikes don't end up in a landfill. You know, for I don't know how many years bikes here were ending up in the landfill and just filling it up. And, Whatever we get here that we don't use gets recycled, goes to recycle. Got a fellow that hauls our scrap for us. In turn, he hauls bikes from the police departments back here for us. No money exchanges hands. With an article in Silent Sports Magazine, October 2006, and a section in the Stevens Point Journal, the Stanley Project is becoming more and more popular in the Stevens Point area. It's a good thing the warehouse has an inventory with all these bike parts. Because according to Jim Trakenshoe, it takes three bikes to build one. With donations from local families, the police department, and private owners, the warehouse has gotten very full. So no matter your economic status, if you're looking for a bike to ride, or know someone who is, steer your attention to the Stanley Project. It's a great program with great people for a great reason. If you'd like to donate a bike, you can contact Jim Trakenshoe at 715-342-9511 or email bikes at charter.net.